Hey everybody! So <laughs> today um, I'm doing the May We Draw Daily Challenge, which I saw on Audra Ayu Claire's YouTube channel and Jelly Bees, and they um, made up this challenge and they originally said that um, um, Torian00, which is also another artist here on YouTube, that inspired them to create this so you should definitely go check them out I'll leave their names down low in the description box where you can check them out and so I decided that I wanted to start this challenge so um, here's the first day of course um, excuse me <coughs> and Right now I did the hand off camera because it took me so long to do the hand. So I did that off camera first because I haven't drawn hands in so long. And since I had to do it for this video and I feel like I want to like um, work on hands this entire video challenge. So first day is always the worst day I mean I of course can draw hands but it's mostly like um, when they're like bent in a position this time I only drew them like flat like laying on the girl's chest and that was difficult so I struggled with that for a while then after that um, I started to design the dress and the sign where I wanted like the designs to be on the dress and how I wanted it to look but here oh my goodness <coughs> but here you see me um just doing like the outline of the dress I wanted it to be like a dress where it's like one side like held up and then the other side like draping over the shoulder and the same thing for the other side and after that I decided to start working on the shape of the face Which at first, I only laid down shapes. I do that sometimes when I'm working on like a bit drawing. I just lay down shapes like on a body. I just lay down like triangles and squares and things like that. So that's a little bit tip that you should do. So right now, I'm just adjusting the nose. Because when I first drew it, the nose was actually too big for the face. And it just seemed like it was very crooked and unproportional to what everything else had. Like the size of everything else on the face, like the um like a little bit of like the cheeks. Like you have to take that in perspective. Say you wanted it to be like chubby sheets. I'll think that like the nose will have some impact or the nose will be um, at least excuse me the nose will at least be like um, impacted by that and after that now I'm just adding shading to the nose because you never want your drawings to just seem 3D. You want them to come off as more as 3D. Did I say already? Okay, let's say that over. You don't want your drawings to come off as 2D, but you want them to come off as 3D. That's what I meant if I said it wrong. <laughs> oh no. And drawing the bun and the bang. At first, I thought the bun would be like 
kind of like a quilted pattern but then I changed it to make it look more natural and I think that looks better than before So right now I'm just adding like rosy effects to it and um, my style is like where I take like um, like a reddish color actually in here I use like a salmon excuse me salmon color and I just use that as like a transition color from like a sherry red and um, then I use my Christmas color color splendor to just um, take away any harshness from the color because I like it to just seem soft but yet vibrant at the same time. 
So all of the supplies that I'm using will be in this description box below. And obviously, as you can see here, I actually messed up this elbow area. And it's partly my fault because when I was inking, I actually tried to blend it out with my finger and that didn't work at all. In result, I obviously added highlights off of camera and just did tiny little bits of details. And that was it for this drawing. So make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and comment down below. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!